search tiny 11 on google hit enter now the first link that you see tiny 11 from internet archive visit that site next you see on the right side right section you will find iso image click on that just click any one of them in my case i'll download 23h264 okay so now let's get back to the computer this is the tiny 11 23h2 in case uh, you already have windows 11 iso file then you can build your tiny 11 iso from that windows 11 file for that you will need tiny 11 builder you need to search in google again and you'll find that click on the first link and visit to that site in github you can read the instructions from here you can download the zip from here that's another video for another day so let's get back to the topic let's open up the roof first select the ISO tiny 11 wherever it is wherever you stored it hit open then you need to click start now you'll get the prompt to remove the requirement of 4 gigabyte 4 GB plus RAM and secure boot uh, requirement of online Microsoft account you can check on both of them and hit OK so that while installing Windows 11 tiny 11 it will not ask for it once it's done grab your flash drive insert it restart your computer and open up your boot menu for some computers uh, f12 works escape button works or f2 works in some computers it dell does the job so in my computer it was f12 so anyway i'm running this on the vm so that i will be able to record it so let's get started again so once you open up your boot menu click on your flash drive in my case i'll have to select the cd-rom hit enter and after that it will ask you to press the key and hit enter and it will load you load the windows 11 i mean tiny 11 after that it's as simple as how we install the windows 11 select your language formats keyboard and then hit next accept the terms and conditions then do the partition which on which partition you want to install the tiny 11 select any one of them i will delete all of the partitions since this is a vm so i'll create new and hit next so after that when it when it's done click the restart and it will load up the tiny 11 Now everything is easy from here it will ask you the region then keyboard and there you go there it is tiny 11 as you can see it's it has removed all the bloatware from the windows 11 like uh, a lot of them recorder and all everything I'll show you the list so it has removed these applications from Windows 11 and there you have it tiny 11 a lightweight alternative to Windows 11 remember to use it responsibly if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe for more tech content and I'll catch you in the next one